China's lunar rover has found something weird on the far side of the moon. Chinese scientists recently announced their discovery of a new lunar mineral among samples collected from the moon during a mission two years ago, adding to the body of knowledge of the Earth's satellite that had been the focus of earlier space exploration. The scientists found a single crystal of a new phosphate mineral that they have named Change Site Y, while analyzing particles of lunar basalt or hardened fragments of lava. The Commission on New Minerals, Nomenclature and Classification, a body of the International Mineralogical Association that reviews the introduction of minerals and their naming, confirmed change site Y as a new mineral. The analysis of samples that had been collected by NASA decades ago, during the era of the Apollo moon landings and then the lunar robotic landers of the Soviet Union, has helped scientists better understand what formed the moon. Scientists say that those findings, along with the results of recent computer modeling, support a theory that the moon was created out of the debris left from a collision between Earth and a Mars-sized planetary body. Change Site Y is China's first new mineral discovered on the moon and the sixth ever by humankind. The study team discovered signs of a new mineral when they received the first 50 milligrams of lunar samples in July 2021 to undertake a mineralogical investigation. However, due to the microscopic lunar soil particles, they could not obtain the necessary information to identify the mineral. Using cutting-edge techniques like X-ray diffraction, Researchers from the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology were finally able to separate one crystal particle with a radius of around 10 microns from the 140,000 lunar sample particles to decipher its crystal structure. The discovery is significant for studying lunar materials, lunar evolution, and deep space exploration. The Change UA5 Lunar probe landed on the moon less than two years ago, in December 2020. In 2021, China's Chang'e A5 spacecraft returned with 3.81 pounds, or 1.73 kilograms of moon rock, of which two tiny pieces were dated to about 1.97 billion years old at least a billion years younger than the moon rocks brought back home by Apollo several years ago. China's discoveries and achievements on the moon come against a geopolitical rivalry in space, with China competing against the US. Analysts have gone so far as to predict that the success of China's uncrewed mission to the moon could be a precursor to more advanced missions including manned ones and constructing lunar bases. In 2020, the Chang'e 5 Lunar Probe Mission, a significant achievement for China's space program, touched down on the moon. The mission's objective was to retrieve two kilograms of samples from the northern Mons Rumker region of the moon and return them to Earth. China is only the third country after the United States and the erstwhile Soviet Union to have achieved this feat since. Seven human Apollo spacecraft flights, six of which were successful, yielded 382 kilograms of lunar soil for the U.S. between 1969 and 1972. The former Soviet Union collected 301 grams of lunar soil using robotic probes between 1970 and 1976. Earlier this year, 
China announced that a constellation of satellites around the moon would be established as part of China's fourth phase of its lunar exploration program to provide communication and navigational services for upcoming lunar trips. China will lead in developing a compact lunar relay communication and navigation system. Initiation of the tiny constellation could happen in 2023 or 2024. It also urged international partners to join its endeavor. In addition to China's multi-pronged lunar probe spread out over several missions, it also strives to build a lunar base with Russia to challenge its rivals led by the United States. According to the roadmap, divided into three phases, five facilities and nine modules are planned for the station to support long and short missions to the moon's surface and orbit. The construction of the station is expected to be completed by 2035. On its part, the United States is all set to return with a manned mission to the moon with its Artemis 1 launch rescheduled for later this month.